Hello friends, welcome to today's video. As usual, I love to take time to welcome all my new subscribers. I am always excited when I get new subscribers and I always appreciate my returning subscribers. Thank you so much guys for continuing to support this channel and I continue to pray that the Lord will bless you and your households. In today's video, as you can see, I... <laughs> I got some Bible stuff and I wanted to share with you. I was looking forward to this particular video. I decided to study the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, the Gospels. And so, you know, I always try and do cute things to make the study interesting <laughs> and fun because, you know, sometimes it's not, it's just hard sometimes to study the word of God. But I just find myself doing small little things that make it exciting and interesting as I pursue the Lord. And so this particular Bible is just the Synoptic Gospels and it's from Dayspring in case you're interested in purchasing it. And I found it to be helpful because it has places you can write notes. And this particular book that I have, it's a Bible study journal. I love it a lot because it has the popular soap, which people will be talking about where you have the scripture, the observation, the application and prayer. And I got this stand just to place my Bible, you know, just for the aesthetics. It's, it's, it's useful. I enjoyed using it and I believe I'll continue to enjoy using it. And so, you know, I got a timer as well, just to time myself so that I can intentionally study the word of God and, you know, be able to see myself growing that even if I didn't have any of these things that are in front of me, wherever I am in my car, on a trip, wherever I am where I don't have all these things, I would have cultivated a habit that I'm able to do without any extra material. And so in this particular journal, it has things like the scripture that you're reading, also the observation, um, like the author, who was the audience, what stands out to you, repetitive words or phrases. Then it also asks you definitions or instructions, like what words stood out to you or what words didn't you know before? And then you kind of had to look up and the instruction from the text, what the text is expecting from you, the application in your life. And also it has a Salah moment, like what really struck you whilst you're studying the word of God. And then it has a section for prayer, you know, just the various points that you, you want to pray for concerning your study of that particular passage. So it really makes you get in tune with what you're doing. You don't just study without and understanding but I, I for me it makes my study a purposeful and intentional study of the Word of God bringing clarity and a deeper understanding and as you can see I do have stickers just to make it look cute just for fun and I like you know making the pages that I have in my Bible or my books just a bit colorful that's just me I don't do color anywhere else really other than my my bible and my journaling materials so if you're like me i i i would encourage you to get things that just just excite you and make the study of the word of god interesting and fun at the same time as you're learning and growing in the lord i'm not sure how you study the word of god but i found this very helpful for me and i found myself been surprised that oh my time is already up before I expected it and you know I just wanted to encourage you that find time to study the word of God and be able to assess your spiritual growth be able to have a review of how far you've come with the Lord even in the knowledge of his word that you're confident as you study the word of God become confident in knowing his word and not just having phrases of that are from the Bible that you know, but actually knowing a complete verse, a complete story confidently and just being confident in Christ, being confident in his word. And it comes through studying. The Bible tells us to study, to show yourself approved, a workmanship needed not be ashamed, 
rightly dividing the word of truth. So I would encourage you to study the word of God, not just for yourself, but to be prepared for whenever you meet people who do not know Jesus or someone who questions your faith, you're able to, to respond with the knowledge of the word of God. And also in as you're praying and seeking God, you present his word to him. But if you do not have his word, you have nothing to present. So friends, I hope you've been encouraged and motivated and inspired to have a certain type of way you study the word of God as we invest in many other things. Let us continue to invest in our spiritual growth and development as we enjoy the Lord. Be blessed, my friends. Continue to like, share, and subscribe.